Mr. Mulvaney, the man, the myth, the legend, the gift that keeps on giving, the gift that keeps on giving to us all for all the wrong reasons. Look, I'll tell you now before we carry on any further, I actually debated whether to make this video now or just wait a little. Wait until the Polyjuice Potion had taken its full effect. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll understand that joke. It is a joke, right? We're allowed to still joke today. Calm down. However, I could not help myself because Dylan Mulvaney in a series of emotional, stunning and brave TikToks has announced to the world that he is now getting surgery, gender affirming surgery, irreversible changes made to his body, which I assume is the face and the, uh, uh, yeah, look, I understand if he's happy with these choices, then more power to him, right? But I just ask him and everybody watching right now, is Dylan Mulvaney still going to be happy when all of these companies just suddenly drop him and stop endorsing him as they do is he still going to be happy when the tiktok algorithm is finished with him and stops pushing his videos out onto everybody's for you page which then by default he will lose his fans because they'll get bored as they do on tiktok right is tiktok they get bored in a second is he still going to be happy if he is then as i said more power to him anyway what do i know her what do i know i'm just a british guy with a camera talking that i don't listen to me here he is in one of his stunning and brave TikToks, telling everybody about his surgery. Enjoy. Day 279 of being a girl, and yesterday I was doxxed. Today I woke up with laryngitis, and I still shot a Christmas special so y'all could have something fun to watch for Christmas. And um, surgery is tomorrow, and I've lost my voice a few times in my life, and it's always during extremely stressful moments. And I feel like right now it's my body telling me that we are done. It's been a big year and now it's time for me to rest. And tomorrow's surgery is for me. You know, this surgery is not what makes me trans and it's a very privileged surgery to get. Um, and I just wish that every trans person could get the care that they needed. I just can't wait to look in the mirror and see a reflection that matches the real me. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to share it yet or how present I'll be on here. But if you see me on here too much, yell at me and tell me to rest. I think I've forgotten how to live my life without feeling like I owe the world everything all the time. Yep, he goes on for about another minute. Uh, I don't want to insult your intelligence any longer, so we're not going to react to any more. You can watch it on TikTok. Uh, we've got a lot to get through in this video, if you can tell. But Dylan Mulvaney can't wait to see the real him. He can't wait to look in the mirror and see the real him. The real him that's only been the real him for, what, 279 days? Could even make it through a year. Seems pretty <laughs> real to me. Yes, like he does say, trans surgery is a very privileged thing to get, and he wishes all trans people can get the care they need. Fair enough. Right, okay. But what I don't agree with is you using all of this money that you got from all of these companies that endorsed you and then still labeling it a stunning, brave, emotional move because... They're paying for you to do this. They are throwing money at you left, right, and center just because you're a man pretending to be a woman. Whilst there are people on the streets of America, in England, who can't even afford their own rent, medical, hospital bills. But these companies just want to throw you money just for what? Transitioning? So I've got a little bit of advice for anybody who can't afford their rent, food bills, hospital bills, medical bills, etc. Just record yourself going through a very traumatic transitioning period and all. These companies will come out the woodworks and throw you money. Your life will change forever, overnight. Free advice on me. But obviously, Dylan Mulvaney being Dylan Mulvaney, he can't stop with one TikTok. No, 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 no. He's got to milk it. He's got to go on and on and on and on. So here is Dylan Mulvaney in another video. So happy, so terribly happy that it's surgery day. Good morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining. The tank is clean. And we are getting out of <gasps> The tank is clean. I mean, look, I don't have TikTok anymore, right? So I don't keep up with all the trends going on on that garbage app. But when I see all of these videos floating around on social media and I see the person can't even keep in sync with the audio they've put on their video, it just cringes me out. And what cringes me out even more, we have another one to react to from Dylan Mulvaney where he can't even keep up with the audio <laughs> once again. Because apparently, obviously, we have to document everything now. Everybody cares where and when we take a sh apparently. So here is Dylan Mulvaney being dropped off by his BFF at the hospital. Hey. What? I just want to take another look at you.
yes, it's all very embarrassing. As I said before that clip played, everybody has to document anything and everything. And Dylan Mulvaney didn't stop at two. Oh no, we have a third one because he's in the hospital bed because he has to remind everybody that he is in fact getting surgery. I didn't know at this point, so thank you for reminding everybody. But he has decided to duet somebody on TikTok, which simply means you just react to somebody else's video on you or whatever, very thought provoking. I will tell you now, this video is very emotional though. So, you know, get the tears ready. It really pulled at my heartstrings. Let's just get into this. Hey Dylan, I hope you're doing good. It's just your sister Mercury calling. I wanted to tell you I'm really proud of you. I know you've had a really rough go this entire year. I think there's been a lot of ups for you, but I know there's been a lot of downs too. And I'm really proud of you for taking matters in your own hands when it comes to your gender affirmation. Tomorrow is your surgery. And isn't that amazing? That's you did that. You put those pieces in place to do that. <coughs> Sorry to interrupt there, my blue-haired friend, but I completely disagree with you. Dylan Mulvaney didn't put all the pieces together to get this surgery. The companies that pushed him down everybody's throats put the pieces together to get this surgery. So what you should really do is redo this video and thank all the brands, all the entities that endorsed him, like Ulta Beauty, Tampax, The White House, and all the other makeup brands, right? Again, what do I know? Huh? I'm just talking shit. I'm just this British dude that knows nothing whatsoever. Carry on, my friend. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are a light for this community. I know you often don't think that the trans community um, likes you. And I know that sometimes they can absolutely feel that way. But I will tell you what, every single person who I know who is trans in my life, and most people in my life are trans, <laughs> I'm T for T, even beyond the relationships, <laughs> all of us love you. You might live your life differently than us. You might say things differently than we will. But boy, you showcase the trans community in its most authentic form. And I can't tell you how much that means to me and so many other people. I love you. We love you. You fight for us every day, even if we do not see it. And I am extremely proud of you. Have a good day, Dylan. Mwah! Yes, he obviously fights for trans people, not mocks them. And he also fights for trans women without actually acting how a woman acts in the real world. No, it all makes sense, really. It really does, especially in this wonderful and wacky world where everything and anything goes. Look, people can dislike who they want. People can have different opinions on people and not be bad people. You can't control that. I ask you, if you walked into a restaurant, my blue-haired friend, and you sat down and you looked at the menu and you saw some food you didn't like, right? And the waiter came over and started shouting in your face and told you, you have to order that food or you're a bad person. You wouldn't order it, would you? No. So stop forcing it on everybody. Stop telling everybody they have to like it. Otherwise, you get people like me who want to push back because we don't like the idea of the female gender being made a mockery. We don't like the male gender being made a mockery. And what Dylan Mulvaney and you, by proxy, are doing are painting all trans people with the same brush, right? Because not all trans people are like you. Not all trans people force their worldviews onto everybody, but that's what you're doing. Now, obviously, we're going to have to deal with Dylan Mulvaney milking the situation again. We're going to see plenty of TikToks of him after his surgery, which means you'll see me again in a couple of days. But I just want to make a huge announcement right now, okay? Because obviously, all of these brand deals are going to be waiting in the shadows to hand him all of the money again. So I'm just making this huge announcement. I am now starting my journey as a two-spirited is that the word? Two-spirited, agender, trigender, giraffe. So if there are any makeup brands watching right now, send me the products, send me the moolah. And maybe because it's a traumatic situation, we can get GoFundMe going or something, right? That's what they do now, that's what the left do. But I'm going through this traumatic journey and I want you guys along with me. As you've all worked out how backwards and insane I just sounded, apparently it's okay if we just pretend to be a woman. That's when it's okay. Right. I think I was born in the wrong time. I really was. What about you? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. How do you feel about Dylan Mulvaney and his surgery? Do you think it's stunning? Do you think it's brave? Are you emotional about it? I would obviously like to know. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell 
notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please for me, make sure to always, always have a great day. Stay off TikTok. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace. See you next time.